the dash is set out quite sensibly with a big speedometer, goes up to 60 kilometers an hour. Unfortunately, the vehicle doesn't go up to 60 kilometers an hour. This is class L1E, which is the electric equivalent of a 50cc restricted moped. So maximum power, maximum speed that you're allowed on one of these is 45 kilometers an hour, marked in red there. That's what you can achieve in mode two. Mode one uses uh, less power and will only get you up to 25 kilometers an hour. Now they've quoted the range or maximum range of this as 100 kilometers, which is about the same as 62 miles. Bullshit alarm. The bullshit alarm goes off because um, nobody in their right mind is ever going to ride in mode one. 25 kilometers an hour. It's, it's dangerous enough riding on the roads these days doing 45 kilometers an hour. Already you get pushed into the gutter because you're doing less than 30 in the 30 zone. So mode one doing 25 kilometers an hour is, is really asking to be with push bikes and being bullied on the road. So don't ever use it. When you're running in mode two, obviously you're using the full power of the 850 watt Bosch hub drive motor. Then um, your range is much more likely to be around 30 miles. You also get um, a reverse, it makes a horrible noise, but when you twist the throttle, it goes backwards. You have to plug things in the correct order, otherwise the dash on the scooter gets confused. So the first thing is you have to undo the cover on the charging point. Then you have to plug the charger into the vehicle. And then you plug the charger into the mains. The little LED goes green and then it goes red. And then that tells you it's charging. Charging period is about six to seven hours, they say, for a full charge. I calculated that a full charge on this will cost you about 25 pence and that should get you about 30 miles. This has got two battery compartments. It's got a spare battery compartment in there. Here is the main battery compartment. To access them, you first of all have to insert the ignition key into this lock here and then you can open the seat. Once you open the seat, there's a little key here, a strange key that's on a chain that you can use to open to access the battery compartments. So if you turn it to the left, it opens this battery compartment. At the moment I've got the battery stored in there. The battery itself has got a power meter check. So that's there's one bar missing and it says 80%, which is about right. So you can also store your charger in that, in that space if you want to bring your charger with you. So if you were going to uh, charge the scooter at work, you can just keep the charger in there. Then if you turn the key to the other side, it opens the centre hatch. Now this hatch here is where the main battery is stored that's connected. So you lift the battery into place. The battery weighs, getting on for nine kilos. You drop it down and you connect as you go and it locks like that. The whole battery is sprung so that you have to push the seat, push the hatch down and it locks nicely and then we're all ready to go.